Matisse 6H30B is a single axis knee joint with a rotary hydraulic system that controls the swing phase and provides support in the stance phase due to high flexion resistance. It's designed for patients with a weight of up to 150 kilograms with unilateral or bilateral transfemoral amputation at any level. The knee joint is waterproof and suitable for use in fresh, salt, and chlorinated water. The maximum knee flexion angle is 150 degrees. The joint is equipped with a locking mechanism that allows it to be fixed in a straight position. Valve F regulates the flexion. Valve E regulates the extension. Both parameters are adjusted using a 2 mm hex key. In the factory settings, they are set to minimum. There are two adjustment rings located at the rear part of the knee under a magnetic cover. The S ring adjusts the damping in the stance phase. In the factory settings, it is set to maximum. The L ring adjusts the damping threshold in the stance phase. In the factory settings, it is set to minimum. For the initial assembly of the prosthesis, use the construction diagram provided in the product passport. The prosthesis assembly axis in the sagittal plane should pass through the middle of the proximal part of the lateral side of the socket, the center of rotation of the knee joint, and at a distance of 30 millimeters from the midline of the foot to the heel. Before setting up, make sure that the knee is unlocked. Ask the patient to stand up and take a few steps in place with support. If necessary, adjust the axis using the adjustment screws above the knee. Ask the patient to walk at factory set with support of the bars. If necessary, slightly adjust the L ring to increase the damping threshold. Valve F regulates flexion, or the angle of heel lift. At factory settings, the heel lifts high and interferes with walking. Set the regulator to the maximum value and ask the patient to walk to feel the difference. At the maximum value, the flexion is small, which is also uncomfortable for the patient. Make small changes step by step to adjust the setting to the optimal condition. With the factory settings for extension, the toe is thrown forward as sharply as possible, which leads to instability. The maximum value is uncomfortable for fast walking. Gradually adjust the setting to achieve the optimal result. Ask the patient to walk at different speeds and adjust the settings if necessary.
The damping in the stance phase is adjusted by the S-ring. In the factory settings, it makes it difficult to bend the knee under load. If the ring is loosened as far as possible, there is a risk of falling down. Gradually adjust the ring to achieve the optimal result. To train and adjust the damping in the stance phase, use a staircase and a ramp with handrails. Excessive damping makes it difficult to move on an inclined surface, while too loose setting creates a risk of falling down. Gradually adjust the S-ring to achieve the optimal result. Make sure that the patient feels comfortable and can move freely. Once the adjustment is complete, close the cover on the rear of the module. To increase the speed of the ankle joint, an additional spring can be installed in the joint. The key to competent use of the prosthesis is precise adjustments intensive patient training, and regular practice.